AJNashford.com. So I want to talk to you about something I did this weekend, something I typically do. That's go out to my local dealership, take a look at cars like this, and think about the things that I want for my future. Now, I know that some of you are seeing this here and thinking, well, that's a waste of money, or that's far-fetched, or that's not obtainable. And I get that. The thing is, is that's what's limiting most people. See, the idea that something like this is not obtainable, or that it's a waste or something like that, tells me that people have a closed mind. When I look at a vehicle like this, my thought is, if I'm at a point where I can afford this, I've done a lot of things to get me this to, to get me to the point where the success has allowed me to buy it. That doesn't mean I'm going to go out and purchase this vehicle. What it does mean is that I've done the work to make it possible. Now, this is a $228,000 car. It's not cheap by any means. But if I can get to the point where all my other ducks are in a row and I can feasibly afford something like this, then obviously I've done something right in my career. And that's just the goal I have. See, last week I asked a buddy of mine, fellow business owner, him and I were talking and he said, hey man, I haven't told a bunch of people about this, but I met my goal that I've set for myself in business for a long time. I've met that goal this month. I've actually exceeded it. And I did the normal congratulations, great job. And I followed it up with, so what's your next goal? He already knew the answer to that. And what that tells me is he's going to be successful in hitting that goal as well because he's already planned. It's already sitting there. Now all he has to do is take the actions to get to that goal to achieve it. That's what this is about right here. It has nothing to do with, oh, he wants a fancy, flashy car. It has everything to do with goals, reaching them, and exceeding them. If you would have asked myself five, six years ago, would you be running a branch or would you be a homeowner? My response would be more far-fetched in thought than this sitting here. My response to that of being a homeowner would have been, like 15 of these cars sitting there and me saying, I'm going to buy those tomorrow. The only difference is, is I put in the work, changed the mindset, surrounded myself and aligned myself with people that had the same success goals as I did and continue to grow. So do yourself a favor. When you sit down tonight, ask yourself, who's my biggest supporter? Who's my biggest critic? Are the people I'm hanging out with, are their thoughts and dreams aligned with those of mine? And if any of those answers don't sound like ones that are going to get you to achieve and accomplish the goals that you have, then make changes. That's all that it's about. It's about growth, continuing to build, and continuing down the path of success. Whether it's something like this or your own goals, do what you need to do to achieve them. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. We'll talk to you later.